Alright guys, this is John Blades here, I'm the Bug Cake and Sock Butler, Sharpening Knives, my contest, what I'm going to do in the future, and any other random things I can think of. This video is just going to be really random, uh, I wanted to put something out, but with the contest I don't want to put, you know, too many neck reviews and stuff, because I want most people to see the contest and enter that. So if you haven't done that, uh, go ahead and go enter my contest, I'll put a, an annotation right down here, somewhere on the bottom of the screen. So go uh go enter that if you haven't because it's really cool and you can win an awesome knife. And now I just want to talk about uh uh these two catalogs I got in the mail on the same day actually. Uh this one's Bud K and this one's uh Kennesaw Cutlery. Now um although they're two different like catalog names they're they're both um, like under the umbrella of the same uh, head company. Uh, Bug K is going to have more random things and this is going to have maybe a little bit nicer version of some of the things that Bug K sells. Um, but I just wanted to bring these up because these two companies are a great place to order knives for younger people or novelty items or just cheaper it's still really cool stuff. Um, so just like paging through this catalog, you can see uh, like they have just like a bunch of really random but really cool things like blowgun, lockpick. Um, not everything they have is the best quality, obviously, because the prices are kind of low. But uh, I, I've used Bud K before and. Um, I've been pleasantly surprised. Um, some of their stuff is uh, subpar, but you, know, you get what you pay for. And if you read the reviews, it's uh, it's pretty much what you'd expect. They have Boker Magnum stuff. Uh, it's probably one of their nicer companies. United, a lot of United Cutlery. Um, a lot of Cold Steel. But that said, just like novelty, novelty coffee mugs, stuff like that. So, that's that. Uh, the other one, Kennesaw Cutlery, has a little bit more upscale stuff, and I say upscale, but uh, it's still within most people's price range, I want to say, although um, they, they do have much more expensive, uh, you know, I don't like this uh, this case knife right here for $137. Um, you know they carry a little, you know, some nicer brands I think. Uh, but and again, this is more uh, knives than Bud K, although they do have random things like this fishing creel. But uh, that's just I thought I'd show you these just because it's interesting and if you're looking for some knives or gifts for somebody and maybe you're on a little bit of a budget, this just has, you know, good stuff and uh, they're pretty reliable. Um, I haven't used uh, Kennesaw before, but it is the same parent company as Bud K. So I assume customer service will be about the same, if not better, for this. Uh, because it is a little bit more expensive um, items in their catalog. But they do have a lot of the same things. Bud K sells this as well. And the, the catalogs are set up very similarly. So that's just what I wanted to talk about with these. Um, obviously, BudK.com and uh, KennesawCutlery.com. So you can check those out if you're looking for some cool stuff. Who knows, maybe the contest winner, I'll let him put something out of here. Just because I, you know, it ships to me really fast, because I live pretty close to their distribution center. Uh, the other thing I want to talk about was sharpening knives. I have right here my Buck 119 Special. And I spent maybe 5 minutes on this. And eh, maybe 10 minutes on this. Yesterday. Just sharpening it up a little bit and stropping it with cardboard because I, I don't have a strap yet. That's one of the things I'm going to buy. 
Wait, just using this system and um, the define hone. Um, again, I don't have ultra fine. So obviously, if you have ultra fine hone and a uh, like a leather strop actually made for stropping knives and razors, uh, you get a much sharper knife. I just want to show you that this is um, incredibly sharp now. Let me see if I can get some. I'm cutting them straight off the paper. <laughs> but it's just it's extremely sharp. Let me see if I can get one good one here. That would be hard to see. Okay, I'm gonna put this on. So crooked. Alright. So right. Right up top there, you can barely see it. Right there. So just a little sliver. Just a bunch of little curly cues right there. So as you can see, it's, it's really sharp, and uh, it's actually, of course I wouldn't suggest it, but it is shaving sharp. Let me see if I can show you uh, on my hand here, on this spot. I mean, obviously I wouldn't recommend uh, cutting yourself with a knife, but as you can see there, it's, uh, it is shaving sharp, and I didn't have it professionally sharpened, I just spent a little bit of time on it, and, uh, you know, using the materials I had, I was able to get a, a very nice edge on it. So again, to show you that, extremely smooth, no rough edges. So some people want to see more cutting demonstrations. There you go. I shaved the hair off my arm. I'm now securing this piece of paper for you. There you go. Some more little curly cues. There you go. Oh. So there's that. Just the weight of the knife. That's right through it. So, very sharp. Let me see if I can get the Mac or the, uh, the lens back on here and show you really up close. Um, it's not quite a mirror finish, but that works very well. Okay, so the whole edge you can see starts up on, on the top here where it starts cutting down. That's the factory edge. You can see where it gets really shiny right there. That's all uh, what I sharpened. And it's not quite a mirror, but if I had a little bit more time, I could uh, bring that to like a mirror, a mirror polish. And uh, just novelty, even to have a knife that sharp would be kind of cool. Uh, but again, Buck's not, you know, not in a super steel, <laughs> um, it isn't even, it's not marked, I'm sure it's a form of 440, uh, just because it's a, a big production knife. First one is show you that, um, alright, about the contest, like I said, please enter, if you subscribe, um, I like to get as many entries as possible. So, I mean, there's only a few entries right now, so more more chance that you'll win if you enter. Um, get some get some cool stuff out of that. Um, what else? Uh, future videos. I'm going to be doing the review soon on the Leatherman tool here. Uh, just uh, this kind of staple Leatherman multi-tool. 
uh, I also have the review on my Bulba uh, Marine Star Watch. Right here for this video, I want to see that. But again, I'm going to wait for the contest to be over. At least I'll have another couple entries to try to do, get people involved in that. And the yeah, other random things that I can think of. Um, not really. Uh, do you remember my coin right here? A good way to save money. I emptied it out a while ago. Uh, a couple of weeks ago, 20 bucks worth of quarters, and I still have two dollars in nickels. I had ten dollars in dimes, I think, or five dollars in dimes and 50 cents in pennies that I still had. So still keeping up with that. Um, other than that, just wanted to make a quick video. Just put something up for you guys. And uh, I'm also on a quick video. It's 11 minutes long already. But, you know, thanks for watching. And uh, check back in soon.